Hey, Shalom, double honors to the apostles of GMS. Honestly, brothers have been pushing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. All right, this is um, a video that's going to be focusing in on on the U.S. Federal Reserve raising up its um, raising up the interest rates, and cons consequently, the the so-called Bank of England raising up its interest rates. All right. So fundamentally, what you had was a situation, as you're going to see in the articles that I'm going to present um carrying on um you had a situation pretty much for where for the last 10 years you had it to where these different central banks in these different countries had it to where money was easily accessible for business all right because it always starts off with business because that's that's where that's where that's how people get paid all right so you could you know businesses could look get get uh, loans from banks of which the banks we're getting their loans from the Federal Reserve. That's how money comes into circulation. All right. Where, but wherefore, you know, if you if you get into how money is integrated and you type that into Google, that will show you all about it. But in brief, uh, you you have what's known as debt spending. Debt spending is cleared by a check from the Federal Reserve it's off of a zero balance account. As that check then goes to the different banks, and those banks uh, uh, um have what's known as currency, right? Which it's an ideal term because it's the flow of IOUs. It's the flow of debt, all right, which you people call currency, which is not truly money as we know in the scriptures. Abraham was a wealthy man, but he wasn't attributed, his wealth wasn't attributed to so to Federal Reserve notes. His wealth was attributed to sheep, goats, cattle, slaves, and so on and so forth, okay, of which the, the whole monetary system that you have set up out here is... is um, is is completely set up to have it to where the masses of the and the majority of the people that you got out there is created to make them slaves because the the fundamental and as you've seen in many movies before, all right, they've come for you know they say they've come for Earth's uh one of Earth's natural resources, all right. What's 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 unique to the Earth it, that you can't get on any other planet? You got it to where you got humans there. And ultimately, if you got control over those, you can you could build an empire of slaves, all right. Of which, when you go into to um into what the elite banking families are trying to do, they're trying to create that world uh, for themselves, where they have you know power and rulership over all the people that are upon the face of the earth. By way of the Georgia Guidestones, by way of the, ultimately which uh, amalgamates and, and culminates itself and manifests itself as as the mark of the beast, man, all right. And that, that mark of the beast, you know, they're bringing out all kind of different technology to to uh, um, to build that up, okay? Namely, you got this thing where you, you can, you know, they're monitoring the behavior of um, inmates so that they can predict how that behavior is going to be. So now, so now, you know, they, they're using the cameras now, but ultimately they they can have a situation where they they want to perfect that technology, and 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 so and in so doing, implement the chip. All right. So ultimately, man, that whole this whole thing, everything that you're seeing, all right, is all to uh, bring about the so-called new world order. All right. So without much further ado, right, I'm gonna get into this article. All right. So it says U.S. Federal Reserve interest rates. Uh, U.S. Federal Reserve, U.S. Fed raises interest rates by uh, you know a quarter of a percentage point. Okay, so uh, the Federal Reserve, which which is the central bank where the, the main banks get their loans from, all right, has raised it up by twenty zero, you know, a quarter of a, a percentage point, which doesn't sound significant, all right. It says the U.S. Federal Reserve has raised interest rates by zero point two five percent percentage points in the first increase since two thousand and six. Okay, so remember what happened. Remember what happened in two thousand and eight. Right, so it's important to bear in mind what happened to, to in 2008. So, what ha what you had it happened in 2008 was the, the biggest crash to date, and that was two years after they raised the last time that they raised the um, the interest rates. All right. So, so what does that go to show you? That, go, that goes to show you we're going into another state of uh, um of um uh, 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 you know the words are escaping me right now, but we're pretty much we're getting into a stage. Where they're gonna bring about another ec economic crash, okay? Don't be surprised if you start seeing economic crashes happen 
you know, with them un unstable. So is it seventeenth? Is it sixteenth? So they've done it quite recently. All right. Don't be surprised if you start hearing about it. And as you're gonna see in this article right here, they're pretty much you know the people that are in the know. You know they 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 they're facetious with it because they know the you know I, you know however way they swing the article, true they know the true nature of what's happening out there. That's why they said. If we should, you know, this is that, that's all demonic anyway. But they said, should we cancel Christmas and start buying tin foods? And that's off of what of a, a twenty-five percent, rather more a quarter of a percentage point. Okay, all right. So let's get back into the you know the premise article, and then I go into the supporting documents. So it says the move takes the range of rate of rates banks. The move takes the range of rates banks offer to lend to each other. Uh, 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 overnight, Federal Reserve funds uh, rates of 0 0.22, 0 0.25 to 5 percent, uh, 0 0.5 percent. So the move is likely to cause ripples around the world and could increase pressure on the UK to raise its interest rates. And uh, um, pretty much, you've seen. I, I think I got an article prepared that's going to show you that the UK, UK and hence the, the EU and so on and so forth, are raising their interest rates. Okay. And it says, and it could also mean higher borrowing costs for developing countries, and uh, many of which are already slowing down, are already seeing slow growth. So, oh, if you have it to where these developing countries start seeing even more slower growth, so what are they going? What are you going to have it to where they they're going to do it, man? All right, they're going to have to rectify that situation, and as you've seen in the past, right? And when you watch how money moves and wars are created, you have it to where countries always get into a state of war when the people can become desperate you have uprisings and so on and so forth right of which you're going to start seeing more and more of those uprisings in these so-called westernized world because the scripture talks about that in the book of second Ezra, the 15th chapter how they shall rise up against their princes and the kings and so on and so forth that's all prophesied within the scriptures all right so now let me jump on to the next article it says u.s shares rally after fed rates hike okay wall street um Wall Street's main shares uh, jumped more than 1% after the Federal Reserve after, after announced that the interest uh, rates hiked uh, since 2010 and prom promised gradual approach right to future rate rises. Right, Let me call back to your attention. The last rate rise was 2006. And the last time we had a big time econo economic crash was 2008. So bear that in mind. Um, it says, and there was a time when the mere suggestion that the central banks was considering a rise right uh would send markets into reverse all right so what they're seeing here right is they're seeing uh, uh, was pretty much probably manipulation of the markets because in prior in prior times you had to wear the the, the mere speculation and I've done, and I did videos I did some videos on it through the spirit yeah by I did some videos on it because uh, the information came my way and pretty much you had it to where I think the China one, uh, what they call Black Friday, I believe that was off of a speculation that the central bank out there was going to raise interest rates. But certainly you had it to where the market stagnated last time they mentioned raising up uh, 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 interest rates. So what they're pretty much saying in this statement here is the opposite of that's happened. All right. But we know that's market manipulation because we know that really. This is what's supposed to be happening. You're supposed to go into a state of reverse. So that could mean that the reverse could be even greater because they have to hide it in that little one percent that they 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 at least have put out there. You know, I don't know exactly what, you know how they're doing it and so on and so forth. I, you know, I don't work on a stock trade or anything like that. It's you know, this is you no know, things I like to uh, keep an eye on. That's all. All right, it says. But today's announcement and news conference uh, from the Fed Chairman Janet Yellen. Right, it was broadly welcomed by investors. Right, as the close of the Dow Jones was up 1.3 percent, while the broadcasters-based SP 500 rose 1.4 percent. In other words, they're trying to say the market's healthy enough for for them to start raising the, the to, to for them to stop making money so um so easily accessible. All right, now this is uh, talking about the the, the United the so-called United Kingdom, England. Right? All right, it says the uh, the Bank of England. The Fed hike gives the Bank of England room to act. All right, says the Federal Reserve decision to start normalizing interest rates is a welcome sign for central banks uh, 
confidence in the U.S. economy for Britain, the higher U.S. US interest rate gives the Bank of England the flexibility to start normalizing, right, the uh, uh, um, uh, rates on the other side of yeah, uh, of the Atlantic. All right, so that's the premise of it. Now you got to think, what are the implications of all of this that's happening? All right, and let's start off with this. It says Associated Press reports that two, at least, at least major consumer banks wasted no time in raising their interest rates on their consumer products following the the um, following the Federal Reserve's uh, decision to raise uh, interest rates. All right, it says J.P. Morgan and Chase and U.S. Uh, Bank. All right raised uh, would rate would rise 0.25 percent to 3.5 percent effectively tomorrow now these are all numbers all right they're just throwing out some numbers there all right but let me let me show you what those numbers imply okay so we bring up the calculator out here all right and in fact if i go to to this statement first so i put in what is the average business loan okay so i'm not talking about the average person's business loan. i ain't you know I'm talking about the people that the vast majority of us work for because the companies that we work for for the most part they're not the money they make is actually given back to the banks to pay off the loan that they took out to set up the, the business all right so we're talking a couple of million pounds you know a couple of million dollars if you will all right right I certainly uh, uh, um it, certain that's that's a certainty for most major corporations most major businesses that's why you have it what's known as um a, a reserve bank uh loans to different banks right the reason why you have that is that those banks can then uh, allow those uh, uh, interest rates to stay low on the loans that these different businesses have all right see it's a ripple effect that you have it to where when the, the rates go up because the, the rates on those loans that those different companies have, have taken from the bank right it's gonna go up so you get what's known as redundancy you get people getting laid off and don't ex hey, expect to you know expect to start seeing some layoffs man right C going into so-called january and so on and so forth you're gonna start seeing some more late people getting laid off and so on and so forth all right which is gonna be a beautiful thing because yeah, it lets you know that uh, uh we're getting into that time when the highest is getting ready to return so it says business loans no, like I said, I put average business loan. All right, so it's, it's, it's pretty much saying here from um for fi from five k to one million pound. All right, so let's say let's take the the figure of five hundred thousand. This and five hundred thousand really is like a really small business. All right, you might employ maybe ten people with a five hundred thousand loan. You know, I you know I I'm just speculating based off of um. The stuff that I know and, and I've seen, you know, uh, moving about in this society. All right. So, so let's say you got a, a business that's taken out or wants to take out a loan, right, at five hundred thousand, right? And you got it to where the interest rates were, um, um, was it? What did they say? Three point two five before. So that becomes one point zero three two five. All right, so they're gonna pay back sixteen grand, all right, on the off 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 of the principal. They're gonna pay back sixteen grand off of the principal. Now they're saying, and that's that's yeah, that's 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 what they're gonna pay with this new interest rate. Now you might think again, you know, that's just numbers. Well, what's the average salary? All right, so you say average average salary, right? Now go for the for the UK, right? Average salary in the UK, right? Um, a sales salary, so like, right? So the average salary is twenty six thousand. So you're saying you can't pay that individual person whoever has that salary at twenty six thousand, of which that's a false figure. That's really a mis a mis skewed uh, figure, in the sense that um, you got people out here that earn millions and millions of pounds, and when these averages are taken. They literally add all of those numbers up. That's not how many. That average is actually a, a lie, all right? Because most of most of most of most of Britain is in poverty. But you got you got it to a London where they add all of those different people's salaries into the equation, and that bumps it up. So that realistically is around about the eight thousand mark or so. That's two people you can't employ, man. All right, just off of a point two two five right increase in rates. That's two people you can't employ. 
So the implication is vast, man. All right. So let me get back into the articles. All right. And, and this is this is why it matters. All right. So it says U.S. rate rise. Why it matters? Lift off for the time in uh, for the first time in ten years, the U.S. Federal Reserve has raised interest rates and says as as expected, uh, rates were increased by 0.25, right, to a range of 0.25 to point. Uh, 0.5 it says for almost a decade money has been cheap right so like I mentioned you've been able to easily access loans and so on and so forth now you ain't going to be able to do that right and so some would argue too cheap so getting houses and all of these different things that these people like to spend their their their, their dosh on all right it says but today's rise in U.S. interest rates could be the beginning of a new era one in which costs of borrowing rises possibly for years it says should we cancel Christmas, buy some tin food and hide it in the cellar, or shrug off and return to our online shopping? It says, let let us look, uh, and who might be affected by the expected um, increase? All right, it says why it matters for the U.S. economy. It says a rate rise can be seen as a vote of confidence by the uh, Federal Reserve in the U.S. economy. All right, but as you, as you can see here, that's not reality, right? You've seen uh, pretty much what happens is when you're in a state of war, as the, the 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 U.S. government is, right? You get to you know, and you got to remember, you know, eight, I think I believe it's about eighty percent of the U.S. economy is dependent on on uh, export of arms. So obviously the economy is going to look like it's doing well because they're going to go out there and, and bomb all of these different people out there. But the reality of the situation is this. It says U.S. unemployment has fallen by to five percent, the lowest level in seven years, right? And half, half year, seven and a half years, and the annual growth is running at a robust two point one percent. All right, so they're saying more people are in work, but what you find now is, as they're gonna say, probably most people are working two jobs, so it looks like the unemployment rate's gone down, but they're actually struggling to to make ends meet. But despite those healthy indicators, interest rates are, are at emergency levels. It says between 2007 and 2008, the benchmark Federal Reserve uh, fell from 5.25% to between 0.25 in an effort to, to um, stave off recession. Okay? It says economists argue it is high times rates started to head higher to prevent excessive consumer bro borrowing all right which you had between uh, prior to 2008 as well all right and prevent bubbles emerging in housing markets and other type of assets now that's not even the case because you got man this is the most inflated economy that you've ever been in that's ever existed simply for the fact that it's going to burst and it's going to be such a great burst that they're going to have to implement martial law and bring out the chip and so on and so forth all right it says there's some Concern over companies that have borrowed too much, all right. Rising interest rates can make it more expensive and more impossible for them to refinance their debts, all right. And that's the point I was making with the with the with the example I showed you, all right. And that was just a five hundred thousand. That's that's peanuts to these to these Edomites in terms of what they're borrowing, man. That's what they borrow for their houses. Imagine what they borrow for their businesses. We're talking you know a couple tens of million. Right, so they're gonna be, and I showed you just that 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 uh, um that you know that small um a rise in the interest rates equated to pretty much nearly a person's average person's salary now. Right, so if you're talking millions and millions of pounds, look, dude's is gonna be laid off, man. All right, which is really the incorrect thing to do, right? If you if you look at it really, if you understand what business is about, especially if you're bringing a product out. All right, really, instead of cutting off people. At the bottom, you really want to start cutting the salaries of the people at the top because they really do the least for the company, right? Save that they make the decision for the company, all right? But in terms of actual physical hard work and hands-on uh, experience on how to produce a product, really it's the guys at the bottom, man, all right? Going to show you, man, everything, you know, everything, if, if it's a body, it works in harmony, man, right? It says, economists argue it is high time, I read that program, it says, in particular, fracking firms, right, which produce oil and gas, have been under scrutiny, right, by investors not only 
do they tend to borrow quite heavily <laughs> right so all those businesses that were set up to, to um, get the fracking and so on and so forth going right they they borrow quite heavily man all right and you had it to where a lot of companies within America to offset what was happening out there in Russia in the Russian economy economy they brought down down that that price of oil down to fifty dollars a barrel right because there was a lot of fracking activity but they did that on the back of borrowing a lot and having all of that cheap money accessible you can have a lot of guys being laid off or out of that all right but then you know without you know in the interest of time and so on and so forth you read these articles in, in your own all right but with all all things set together man all right it, it's a it's a chain effect it ripples throughout you know everybody man. It, it ripples it ri ri ripples to all sectors of the economy so you start off with the with the fracking let's just use this example with the fracking company the company now can't provide for or, or let's say 10 people those 10 people now can't spend their money right in your retail shops and your food shops so now you got another 20 30 people that can't get fed now they can't spend their money in their in retail shops and buy food and so on and so forth so what does that mean man right it means we're headed headed towards another uh, uh, another economic crash man which is a beautiful thing when i say bring it on all right so pretty much with that you know um I'd like to start, you know, honest, double honest to the apostles of GMS, all right? And then, you know, honest to you both that be pushing this truth and sincerity. Shall I want?